Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be updating my FSR frame generation guide for Hogwarts Legacy running on ROG Ally with Windows 11 and Steam Deck with SteamOS. The game received a new update just a few days ago. This is the latest build version 1344582. This new update includes many bug fixes and additional enhancements for in-game mods, performance and stability improvements, resolve general creator kit support, Resolve crash when talking to Ollivander with the AnyWand mod installed. Resolve crash agreeing when walking through Ancient Magic Gate. This game already supports DLSS frame generation, so I'll be using Nukem 9's mod to replace it with FSR frame generation. To inject Nukem 9's mod in this game, I'll be using Night X3 OptiScaler mod. Using OptiScaler mod, we will also be able to enable XCFS version 2 upscaler and AMD's anti lag 2 that helps in cutting down the latency. In order to use Anti-Lag 2 via OptiScaler, we will be required to install Fake Mikhaus Fake NV API. I'll kick things off with ROG Ally. We'll be using the latest nightly build of OptiScaler mod. You can download it from GitHub. We'll give its link in the description of the video. This is the build that I'll be using. 0.7.737 Click on the dot .7z link. We'll be using build 0.122 of Nukem 9's mod. You can download it for free from Nexus mods. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on Manual Download under Universal. Then click on Slow Download. Download will start. We'll be using version 1.2 of Fake Because Fake NV API to enable anti lag 2. Can be downloaded from GitHub. Just click on the .7z link here under Asset section. First, I'll be installing OptiScaler mod. Open its archive file. Just copy the highlighted files. Need to paste them in the games install directory. Open Phoenix folder, open binaries folder, open Win64 folder, paste the files here. Change the name of nvngx.tll file to txgi.tll. Open the games install folder again. Open engine folder, plugins folder, runtime folder. NVIDIA folder, DLSS folder, binaries folder, third party folder, Win64 folder, copy this DLL file, need to paste it in the same directory where we paste it, OptiScaler mod files, backtracking, Phoenix folder, binaries folder, Win64, right here, change its name to nvngx.tll. Open optiscaler.ini file and just set tx12 upscaler to xcss set fg type to nukems this will activate nukem 9 mod not using optiscaler fsr frame generation click on file click on save close now i'll install nukem 9 mod open the mods archive file open dll underscore version folder copy this dll file dlsg to fsr3 amd is better Open the games install directory. Open Phoenix folder, binaries folder, Win64 folder. Paste the TLL file here. Now I'll install fake Mikhaus fake NV API. Open its archive file. Copy the two files present inside this archive file. Need to paste them in the games install directory where we install OptiScaler mod, Phoenix, binaries, Win64 right here. OptiScaler mod comes with an older version of XCSS, version 1.3. I'll manually update it to the latest version that is 2.0.0.18. I'll give its direct download link in the description of the video. Copy, open the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, browse local files. Open Phoenix folder, Pandas folder, Win64 folder. Replace the older version of XCSS with the latest version. That's it. Game set tunnel in settings, VSync and VSync enable, that's it. I've set the UMA buffer size to auto, my ally is running on BIOS version 341. Install AMD's GPU driver at tunnel in addition version 25.2.1. Using a 30 watts manual profile, all three power values are at 30 watts, 900p resolution, CPU boost disabled. Connected my 8-bit to Ultimate 2C controller to ally via 2.4 GHz wireless mode. Launch the game. We are in. Open the game settings. Window mode set to window full screen, 900p resolution, upscaler set to DLSS, this means the mod is working. Using the upscaler 
quality preset this is very important you need to set the upscale sharpness to zero otherwise frame generation smoothing effect won't work properly frame generation set to two times reflex on frame rate uncap post processing effects disable motion blur depth of field chromatic abrasion film grain <laughs> name of the gpu rtx 4090 if only it was that simple shadow and texture quality set to low a big pun shadow and texture quality set to medium rest of the settings set to low ray tracing off open optical mode menu by pressing the insert keyboard key from this drop down bar we can select the upscaler i have set it to xcss don't use fsr3 produces texture shimmer version of the upscaler 2 nukum nine smart disable for the time being it will start when we jump into the gameplay we can be api loaded up as well so everything is working fine now i'll activate anti lag 2 latency monitor by pressing its hotkey combo all shift and l keep pressing the key combo latency value use adrenaline zone to show you the performance metrics press its hotkey combo control shift and o api direct text 12 to access the in game mods select this option play mods mods loaded up they have been sorted based on different categories as you can see i have installed a mod for my pro show in the library there it is installing mods is very simple just select a mod you will see an option to install right here as i have already installed the mod i am seeing the option for uninstalling it go to enable mod section here you just need to create a copy of your existing save and then enable mods on it it will be listed under mod saves just load the save file there is a character i am standing at the entrance of hawksmith fps here is close to 80 latency value is close to 60 milliseconds i'll just disable anti lag 2 by holding the right control key your yeah, latency value increased to around 88 milliseconds roughly a 30 milliseconds increase in latency with anti lag 2 disable and these kids were caught stealing stuff from the shop good performance in hawksby game side elements are not flickering mod is working properly latency is manageable this is the marketplace hawksby square very heavy on the cpu even here game is running nicely 70 to 80 fps can be a few hitches here and there i'll jump into the pond will be flying around as well but first i need to leave hawksmith this is a no flying zone equip my broom need to show the in game mod as well a dementor will spawn right behind my broom there it is so even the in game mod work is flying around beautiful scenery in the background hawksworth bekepan hawksworth castle okay now i look for the bad guys on the mini map 70 to 80 fps while flying around found the bad guys nearby this land here let's do this just spam my abilities okay some wolves use my protego shield incendio a good performance even during combat 70 to 80 fps that was close clear the area image quality is looking sharp xcss2 upscaler for you no artifact around our character model no enemies nearby poche use a special move so good experience on rogue and i'll be testing the game on my steam deck 
This is SteamOS running in desktop mode. On Steam Deck, I observed better performance in this game using OptiScaler FSR frame generation than Newcom 9's mod. So I'll simply use OptiScaler. We'll be using its version 0.7 preview 93 build. We'll give its direct download link in the description of the video. First, I'll install the mod. Open the mod's archive file. Extract the highlighted files. Drag and drop them outside of this window, three of them. This mod build comes with an older version of XCSS Subscaler. I'll manually add the latest version. We'll give the direct download link to it in the description of the video. Just copy the extracted files. Open the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. Open Phoenix folder, open binaries folder, Win64 folder. Paste the files here. Open the games install directory again. Open engine folder, plugins folder, runtime folder, nvidia folder, dlss folder, binaries folder, third party folder, win64, copy this dll file, need to paste it in a directory where we paste it, optiscalar mod files, open the games install directory, phoenix folder, binaries, win64, right here. Now just change the name of nvngx.dll file to txgi.dll Change the name of nvngx underscore dlss.dll file to nvngx.dll Now I'll install xcss subscaler We'll give its google drive link in the description of the video Copy Paste it in the same directory where you install optiscaler mod Phoenix Pineries Win64 right here. This game will produce some graphical artifacts with XCSS Subscaler enabled. I'll show you how to fix this issue. Open nvngx.ana file. Scroll down until you find hotfix section. Here look for a line name, color resource barrier. There it is. You just need to set it to 4. It is set to auto by default. Now look for the init flag section. Here auto exposure is set to auto, just set it to true. Click on save here, close the file. Need to add a launch option to the game. Select the game in your steam library. Click on the settings cog here. Click on properties, general. Under launch option, add this line of text. I'll provide in the description of the video. Click on compatibility here. Using gproton version 9-24 as the compatibility there. You are ready to run the game. Connect it my 8-bit to Ultimate 2C controller to deck via Bluetooth mode. This is the LCD variant of Steam Deck. Its display supports up to 60Hz refresh rate. Performance QM settings, only level set to 2. Disable SteamOS Wishing by enabling disable frame limit and a lot tearing settings. In-game settings, 800p resolution. Upscaler set to DLSS using its balance preset. It's basically XCSS upscaler. Sharpness cell set to nil. Vsync off. Motion blur depth of field chromatic aberration film grain disabled. Everything set to low ray tracing disabled. Open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. From this top turn bar we can select the upscaler. I have selected XCSS. It's version 2. Frame generation disabled for the time being. In game mods can be accessed from the menu. Just select the play mods option here. Mods here are sorted by different categories. See, I have installed a mod for my broomstick. Installed mod can be accessed via library section. Install Dementors Broom. Uninstall option. Go to Enable Mod section. Here you will be required to create a copy of your existing save. On this new save file, you can enable mods, and this save file will be listed under Mod Saves. I have enabled this mod on this save file, Dementors Broom, can be disabled from here, like this, disabled, now it's enabled, just need to press the A key, load a save file, standing at the entrance of Hawksmith TSI character, here FPS is a bit variable, 35 to 40, this area is very heavy on the CPU as you can see, GP load is close to 90%, 30 FPS there, Okay, I'll just enable frame generation now. 
image quality is looking quite good after scaling the menu by pressing the insert keyboard key just enable frame generation setting fg heart rate setting set the limit value to 1 enable fg allow async setting as well this setting was a bit unstable in the older versions of OptiScaler used to cause the game to crash does not happen now in most of the games show the debug view FG debug view setting checked displays for all of the images are working properly no HUD elements are visible in the bottom middle image so the HUD should not flicker with OptiScale FSR frame generation enabled the color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images in generation smoothing size should work properly disable the debug view back to the game we have fps increased to around 70 can observe the added amount of smoothness but the latency increased as well it's noticeable the delay screen tearing lag effect is visible around the left and right edges of the display game side elements are not flickering so the mod is working properly marketplace 55 fps i'll just enable manual gpu clock speed setting and set the clock speed to 1400 megahertz this can help in stabilizing the performance on steam deck only 15 watts of tdp is available for the apu this power is shared between the cpu and gpu roughly the same power is shared between cpu and gpu now 6 watts 60 to 70 fps not bad yeah the latency is a problem okay i'll just leave ask me now equip my broom show you the in-game mod that i have installed dementor sprinting in the open areas fps will increase to around 70 equip my broom that was close jump top the edge of the hill there's the dementor flying around beautiful scenery in the background 60 fps show you some combat as well so optiscalar mod works nicely on steam deck found some bad guys i'll land here Invisible spell, Protego shield, perfect timing. So, sixty to seventy FPS even during combat. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.